Okay, race eight here of week one, day one. There's a two mile, two furlongs here at Ascot. There's a three year old and up and it's a maiden. So Dieppe for James Follis, Gold Lonesome for Derek Hinton, Capdor Silver for Doug Warren, Moonshell Valaris for Pontypool Racing, Tomino for Obi Wan, Agatha Christie for Cabatha T. Blue Stardew for David Robertson, Force Temp for Kevin Meanhand, Shoot for Test Stars for Leon, Your Turn to Wonder for Joshua, Frosty, John Aronimo for Darren Howes, Javelin, Carl Arianti, and Red Wizard for Jim Murray. So 13 of them, and they're out of the gate, and a fairly even break, though a couple a little bit slow out there. There's Tamina and Forrest, Frosty, Geronimo. As we wait for him to settle down over this two and a quarter miles. It's Dieppe that's going to lead us, a James Follis with Gold Lonesome and Capdoor Silver. These three have pulled a couple of links ahead of the remainder, which is just being led by Javelin at the moment. And so outside of that is Red Wizard, and further wider is your turn to wonder, who had a lot of trouble getting into the stables, but has finally got there as a four year old, as we heard from Josh. But up front is still Dieppe from Capdoor Silver and Gold Lonesome. A couple of links back to Javelin. Then we've got Red Wizard. You will turn to Wonder. Force 10 in the green silks out wide. One against the fence is Blue Stardew. The outside of that is Moonshell Valeris. Further wider is Shoot for Testars. And then we've got Termino. And just at the rear at the moment are Agatha Christie and Frosty Geronimo. But up front, it's still Dieppe. It leads us by a couple of links to Capdor Silver. And they're quite well spread out here. Probably got uh, 15, maybe more lengths between first and last. And we're through, uh, I don't know what, six furlongs. And we've still got a mile and a half to travel. So it's still Dieppe that leads from Capdor Silver and Gold Lonesome. Those three have been there together. And we've got Javelin, Blue Star Dew. Red Wizard just been pushed along a little bit, get a better position. Outside uh, wider still is your turn to wonder and force 10. In between those is Moonshell Valerius. And the widest of all is Tamino. And then there's a length just back to shoot for Tassars. Agatha Christie, the big grey. And Frosty Geronimo at the rear at the moment for Darren Howes. But up front, it's still Dieppe. With Gold Lonesome and Capdor Silver for company. And a length or so back to Javelin. Those four have pretty much been together. Although Blue Stardew taking a, taking a little bit of fourth now with Red Wizard. And on the outside is your turn to wonder who's got himself in a better position. One just tucking himself in now is Force 10 as they go around this turn. They've been followed through by Moonshell Valerius. Not going to be a lot of room here. One that's just getting pushed out there is Tomino. Had to go a little bit wider. And still shoot for Testars, Agatha Christie and Frosty Geronimo bring up the rear. But up front, with seven furlongs left to run, it's Dieppe that leads us from Gold Lonesome, Blue Stardew and Capdor Silver now. Then a couple of lengths back to Your Turn to Wonder. Outside of that is Force 10. Mid-pack. And up front, Dieppe's off his bridle now. He's being pushed along. He's got himself a couple of lengths from Blue Stardew, Gold Lonesome, Red Wizard making a really strong move here. Five furlongs from home and it's Dieppe going to be challenged now by Red Wizard. Red Wizard takes it up for Jim Murray. It's Red Wizard now. Leads just by half a length but uh, not really having to push his horse along too much here. But Dieppe's still under a lot of pressure. And we've got four furlongs left to travel. They take the home turn. It's Red Wizard from Dieppe. Coming out of the pack now is Blue Stardew, Gold Lonesome making a good move in the pink silks. And pushes himself up into the front. Three and a half furlongs left. It's Gold Lonesome from Red Wizard, Blue Stardew, Dieppe. They're all under pressure now. Capdor Silver, Moonshell Valarius making a bit of ground. The one on the outside is your turn to wonder. But it's Gold Lonesome that's got himself a four or five length advantage here and seems to be cruising quite comfortably. We're going to hit the two furlong pole. It's Gold Lonesome from Blue Stardew, Red Wizard, your turn to wonder, Moonshell Valarius. Nothing else is going to win from this. So we've got a furlong and a half left to travel. It's still Gold Lonesome that's got it. But here comes Blue Stardew, your turn to wonder on the outside. Red Wizard, Moonshell Valarius between horses. Gold Lonesome going to be challenged now inside the final furlong by Blue Stardew. Blue Stardew just takes it up on the outside is Moonshell Valerius. Your turn to wonder, but Blue Stardew looks like he's going to have this for David Robertson. Blue Stardew's going to take this. Blue Stardew from good finish in Moonshell Valerius. I think Red Wizard was third. And the rest of the pack and just at the end there was Frosty Geronimo. Let's just take a quick look at the replay. I'm pretty sure. It's a blue stardew that takes it from Moonshell Valerius. Red Wizard hung on for third there. 
Josh and uh, Dell took fourth and fifth, so the winner was Blue Star due for David Robertson. Well done. Second was Moonshell Valerius for Ponty Paul Racing or Graham Clutterbuck. Third was Red Wizard for Jim Murray. Fourth was Your Turn to Wonder for Joshua Southern. And fifth was Gold Lonesome for Derek Hinton.